Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany for those of you who are new, so welcome. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on this eye look that you obviously see. Um, I wanted to do a makeup tutorial for the 4th of July and I wanted to get this up before that obviously so you guys could recreate it if you wanted to. So I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration and maybe help you step outside your comfort zone. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, which is actually really easy, then just keep watching. Alright, so first I'm going to dip into the Jaclyn Hill Pot. I'm going to dip into this third shade over. I do not know the name because I did not get a name card with mine. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I'm going to take this Morphe M433 and dip into that shade and put this all over my eye area, even up to my eyebrow. And this is just going to set everything because I did put on some moisturizer, so that's why I look greasy. But this is just going to be a nice base for everything. Alright, so next I'm going to take this Morphe M573. And I'm going to take my Natasha Denona palette and dip this into the shade Pangean. It is the matte red color in the bottom row right there. And as you can tell, I'm sure I'm going to put this in my crease. And I'm just going to keep packing it on until it's even with the other eye. And I'm going to drag it out since I am doing like a cut crease. And then drag it out. It's okay if you go about on the lid because whenever I go over with concealer, it won't matter. I'm going to put a little bit more right there. So next I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just using Fair Neutral. You can just use whatever shade you want. Um, and then I'm using this Royal and Ling Nickel Omnia BOM18 Detail Brush. So first I'm going to take my concealer and you have to be a little bit quick. It's not like super quick but just don't mess around. Put a little bit of concealer in your eye. And then close that up, obviously, so it doesn't dry out. But then take your brush and spread this on your lid and shape where you want. I think I need just like a little teensy bit more concealer. And then I should be good. Alright, I'm going to do this part like how I did over here after I pack on some of this blue. So now I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill pad again and dip into this royal blue shade right here. Again, I don't know the name. Maybe I can put it on screen for you guys. And then I'm taking this Tarte brush I always use and packing on the blue. But since I want it to be like a red, white, and blue effect like the other eye, leave a little bit of room so you can see some white. Also known as your concealer. You can make it as thin or as thick as you want. And see how this line almost matches? Next, I'm going to take a makeup wipe and create my line so that way I can go in and make it like the other side where it kind of goes out. So, I'm just going to drag it. It's kind of hard for me to eyeball it sometimes, so this is kind of like my cheat way of doing it. So, if you're anyone like me who has trouble figuring out where that should go, this is what I recommend doing. Alright, so now that we see that... You can take the concealer in that brush and extend it. So again, I'm going to grab some concealers a little bit. So I'm going to try to wipe it a little bit. And then, sorry if I'm looking away, but I'm going to drag it. Okay. 
Now this other side looks like it's a little bit higher. So we're just gonna do that. That's better. So now we can go in with our blue again and make it even. This side's a little bit trickier because I already have like hooded eyes and like the skin folds and stuff but this side's worse because I was in a car wreck when I was younger so it's a little trickier. So again I'm going to take a makeup wipe and clean it up. Next now I'm going to go in with the MAC eyeshadow in the shade nylon and i'm going to use this little bh cosmetics brush just use any tiny brush you have and put this in the crease i really wish i had like a silver sparkle color but i don't because if i did that would be what i put in this crease all right i'm gonna touch up that inner corner with the blue Got a little sloppy. Alright, so now I'm going to do my liner and I'll be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. So the nice thing is since we used that makeup wipe to make our line, we can make our wing line just by following it. Alright, so I did go ahead and finish my liner and I know like right here it looks kind of weird but that is where my scar is so just try to ignore that but now I'm gonna put on my lashes and the glue is already ready to go so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on then I use this tool alright so these are the Coco lashes these are the style goddess these are some of my favorite. The reason this is kind of difficult right now going on is because these are like really used and abused, but I love them. I thought they went nicely with this look, so I'm making it work. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then we will go in and do my lower lash line. Alright, so I did go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup, so all I've left is my lower lash line. And in case you can see, I did change my shirt just because I wanted to make sure that whenever I do my foundation, I can blend it everywhere that is seen, so that is why I've changed. So now I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs, I think this is called the Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crown in the shade Black. Yeah, I'm going to put this in my lower waterline. If you want to make it like really festive you could go in with like a blue liner but the blue I have doesn't match the blue on my eyes so I'm not gonna use a blue. Alright so I wasn't sure which color I was gonna put on my lower lash line but my boyfriend voted for red, so that's what I'm going to do. You can do blue, red, or just leave it white if you want. Just put like some transition color. So I'm going to use my Morphe E18 and go into the red shade in that Natasha Denona Sunset Palette called Pangean. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm going to put this right over top that liner and right below it. This brush is good it getting both because it's slightly bigger but it looks good once you have everything on and then you can go in and blend it out all right so now i'm just gonna go in and do my bottom lash mascara using what i always use the maybelline falsies push-up angel probably gonna have to get a new one of these soon because it is running low all right so that is everything for my makeup um i'm figuring out which lip color i want to go with so this is one option if you want to be super bold and fun so this lipstick is the urban decay in frostbite i think this is from like their vintage collection um i'm going to dinner after i finish this video so i'm gonna go for something a little bit more neutral and i'll show you guys that lip as well Alright, so 
This is the NYX lip option. This is a more nude look. This is like the shade Buttercup from Jared Cosmetics. Um, you can do more nude. I just thought it looked a little weird on me. But I think it would look cute in general. And yeah, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. And I hope you guys found it helpful in deciding what kind of looks maybe you want to do for the 4th of July. Maybe something like this out of your comfort zone. But if you guys like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.